Okay, in the last video, we talked about how objects become charged. Now what we're going to do is talk a little bit about how objects become discharged. And the idea here is that we're taking objects that have some charge and returning them to their neutral state, um, where they have no net charge. So what we'll do is we'll start with an object that has some positive charge. And in this case, we'll make it a metal for simplicity's sake. So we have all of this charge sort of sitting on the outside, far away from everything. And the way to discharge this object is to connect it to, to attach it, to something that has a lot of electrons, a lot more electrons than this object itself. And typically what we do is we would actually physically attach this thing through some sort of metal wire to the earth, or what we'll actually start to call the ground. So we'll attach a metal wire from this object to the earth or ground. This is often done in laboratories with you know, metal pipes that actually go into the ground, or um, wires that are sunk into the ground, or things like that. Um, but the idea is just a, a direct connection to the Earth. So what happens here is the Earth is much, much bigger than this object. And so it has a lot of electrons that are available um, to be transferred to that object. And so those electrons run up that metal wire and uh, combine themselves with the atomic cores to result in a net neutral um, metal sphere in this case. So when we disconnect to this thing, what will have happened, right, if we sort of break this connection, what will have happened is these electrons will have jumped on top of these positively charged cores. Make sure that's the right number. Let's put one more because I'm probably wrong. Um, such that they, they overlap pretty closely with those, those positively charged atomic cores, leaving a, a net neutral metal wire, right, which we would represent as not having any positives or negatives on it at all. This works both with positively charged objects and negatively charged objects. So if we take a negatively charged object, like this one, and we physically attach it to the Earth, um, the Earth is also a great sink for electrons, meaning that these electrons can just run down this wire into the Earth, leaving behind uh, the neutral atoms uh, on the, on the uh, metal itself. And so this process of connecting different objects to the ground or to something that is a much larger source of electrons um, than the object itself is the way by which we discharge these objects. Um, in future you know, activities that you'll do in this class, we'll actually do this in circuit diagrams. And the way that we actually represent the earth or the ground is sort of this idea of this kind of pipe with three horizontal lines. So if you see sort of this kind of connection, where you have this, uh, if you will, um, you wouldn't see that in a circuit diagram. But this idea here is that this thing is connected directly to the ground so electrons can transfer into the ground or they can be transferred from the ground. Um, this is the kind of uh, picture that you're going to see in a circuit diagram to represent this mechanism.